My name is Paul Lucas and I've been painting since I was uh, nine years old. I started in England. We had an artist staying with us and I would walk past his room and smell the oil paint and see what he was doing. I was, I was really taken by that. Um, I got particularly interested in the old masters, the Dutch, the English. In 1977, I uh, got a job as a deckhand on a cray boat and went to um, the Abrolhos Islands, which are about 40 kilometres off the coast of Geraldton. And um, an absolutely beautiful place. And I fell in love with the, the water and the coral and, and the history of the place too. With the Abrolhos, um, there was the history of the Batavia and I've always loved history and shipwrecks and that sort of thing. And I, I've been researching the wreck for years because I knew if I wanted, was going to do it, it would have to be accurate, it would have to be correct. So I even went to lengths of buying a model of the Batavia because I wanted to get the rigging right. I've worked on these reefs as a cray fisherman and um, it's actually bringing back occasionally a chill of what I experienced because some of those breakers were just like 30 feet and you're going up them in a boat. You come over and the boat shudders and it's just a mass of foam and spray and, and they hiss as they go over and it's, it's frightening. So I know, I, I think I've portrayed that quite well. So in the second piece, I've, um, because it's sunlight, uh, the clouds and the showers are clearing a little bit, the swell's picked up, um, I've been able to include those beautiful blues and greens of the Abrolhos. Painting still water is very easy. That ruffled, uh, windy look um, is, is, is quite hard, so it's a process. Um, I begin with painting what's on the bottom of the water, uh, which is out there, there's a lot of plate coral, staghorn coral, and where the water runs over it, it tends to stretch out and distort the, the image under the water. It's a bit like having a large sheet of glass and bending it. Everything is, is, um, is curved. And so establishing those corals, and then you paint the surface of the water because your eye will go to the surface and then you will see through, creating a realistic effect of water and depth. I love doing the detail in these old ships and there is certain, certainly plenty of that. The line on the front of the ship, the gilt work on the side of the boat. According to the journal, um, later on in that day, the wind picked up uh, immensely and was really starting to tear the ship apart. The breakers got even bigger. I had to think about which way the wind was blowing and so where how the sails would billow, the ropes were let go, so I had to get all that movement. With these uh, historical pieces, it's a little bit different, but I wanted to include both aspects, the history of the event and the feeling of uh, the isolation of the Abrolhos and the raw beauty of, of, of the place itself and the desperation of the people in the story. I haven't been able to put the brushes down. I've really enjoyed the journey. I think at this stage in my career, I think, I think I'll always paint the Abrolhos. I just, it just got into my, uh, my, my spirit and I just love the place for its wildness, its beauty, its history. Yeah, the water is crystal clear 12 months of the year um, and I'll get out there whenever I can and uh, I'll paint other places and I, and I have, but I'll always go back to the Abrolhos. It's got special uh, significance to me. Thank you.